Do not expose your mate's weaknesses or harp on his idiosyncrasies, not even jokingly. Remember that marriage is not a competition to find who is the stronger, who can shout louder, or who can think the most of cutting remark. No. True, we have all flaws, mistakes, and imperfection. Sometimes you upset one another, but there is never a justifiable reason for either Jandel or Jason to use sarcastic and demeaning speech or words to show or hit each other. The Bible does not permit that. As clothing protects the body, so love safeguards marital unity. Clothing can also enhance the beauty of the, of the wearer. Even can love add luster to God's marvelous provisions of marriage. So once you have that kind of quality, self-sacrificing love, Christ-like love, it is the mortar that binds your marriage. It is the building block. A sturdy marital union is founded in that kind of love. It makes the marriage unbreakable. It will make your marriage last. Okay. One way that we can learn also from the scripture is the, the, the enduring marriage is a union of two uh, forgivers. So sometimes difficulties arise. But by contrast, as young marriages are forged when husband and wife are what? Treat each other in a forgiving way, as Jehovah treats both of you. True, it takes love, uh, devotion, loyal commitment, and earnest effort to make a successful marriage. So rather than abandoning ma the marriage when difficulties arise, Jason and Jandel, you should be determined to make your relationship thrive, not just survive. Christian couples are devoted to Jehovah and to each other, are motivated by their strong love to God and for each other to resolve difficulties. Why? Love never fails. In marriage, both of you, it means that you need to put into the relationship what you hope to get out of it. So, as days move by, moves on, look for ways to show love every day in your mind. Sit aside time to talk together, both of you. Really listen. They say that listening is the beginning of understanding. And when you really listen, love is what you find. Make it a habit to show kindness in little things, such as by tender words. Do not forget to say, I love you also to your mate. Acts of affection, doing so will strengthen your marriage, for love never fails. Yeah? If you have deep love by both of you, you will thrive in your marriage. And remember, come what may, whatever happens to life, if you have this kind of love, you will thrive and your marriage will be successful. Always remember, love never fails. And if you have that, Jehovah will bless your marriage for eternity. Now I will uh, call uh, Brother uh, Roland Anthony Jimeno, uh, an officiating minister, and is duly authorized by the Republic of the Philippines to conduct uh, wedding vows uh, to solemnize this marriage. Brother Jimeno, please. Uh, can you hold the microphone, Brother Jason? Okay. Do you, Jason Normana Pirawiti, in the presence of Jehovah God and His Witnesses, take Jandel Karampatan to be your wedded wife, to love and to cherish, in accordance with the divine law, as outlined in the Holy Scripture for Christian husbands, for as long as you both may live? It's your answer. I do. Sister Jandel, please I hold your microphone. It's your turn. Do you, Jandel El Karampatan, in the presence of Jehovah God and His Witnesses, take Jason Romana Pirawiti to be your wedded hus husband, to love and to cherish and deeply respect, in accordance with the divine law, as outlined in the Holy Scripture for Christian wives, 
for as long as you both me live? Yes, I do. Thank you. Now please face each other. Okay. And hold your hand, please. I, your name? I, Jason Perawiti. Take your... Take your... What's the name of your... Um, Jandal Karampatan. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To love and to cherish in accordance. To love and to cherish in, in accordance. accordance. The divine law. The divine law. As set forth in the Holy Scripture. As set forth in the Holy Scriptures. For Christian husband. For Christian husband. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Together in earth. It together on earth. Together on earth. According to God's marital arrangement. According to God's marital arrangement. Thank you, Brother Jason. And Sister Jendel, can you hold the microphone? I. I, Jendel Karampatan. Take you. Take you, Jason Pirawati. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And deeply respect. And deeply respect. In accordance with divine law. In accordance with divine law. As set forth for the Holy Scripture. As so forth for the Holy Scriptures. For Christian wives. For Christian wives. For as long as. For as long as. We both shall live. We both shall live. Together on earth. Together on earth. According to God's marital arrangement. According to the God's marital arrangement. Thank you, Sister Den Jendel. And please, which is your ring? Okay. Okay. And then, Sister Jendel. The left? Left. This ring is an outward and visible sign signifying unto all the uniting of this man and this woman in the band of matrimony. For as much as Jason Norma, Normana Pirawiti and Jandel El Karampatan have covenanted before Jehovah God and these witnesses to accept each other in wedlock, I, Roland Anthony Jimeno, as an ordained minister of the authority confirmed upon, upon me by the Holy Scriptures and the Republic of the Philippines, pronounce that they are husband and wife together. What God has yoked together, let no man put apart. Okay, this is my pleasure to introduce to you this marriage gathering, Brother Jason and Sister Jandel Pirawiti. Okay. Congratulations to the newlywed, Mr. and Mrs. Parawete. To conclude our wedding ceremony, let us sing song number 132.